Hey there, this is Red. It's time for another episode of Red Plays. And surprise, surprise, Marvel Champions is out on the board. So if you haven't seen me play these before, what I'm doing is a solo play of Marvel Champions. Right now, I'm working on uh, Tony Stark and the Iron Man Tech Nova deck, which is straight from the Marvel CDB, where they have a bunch of custom decks out there. That's the one I've been playing. And I'm going up against some custom content in Dr. Octopus out there, which is not an official Fantasy Flight uh, deck that's been put out. It's been one that uh, someone has made as an additional villain in the scenario to play against. So you've got Doc Ock and a little side scheme out there to go against. Uh, if you haven't watched, I've got about 80-some other odd Marvel Champions videos out there, and I would recommend... You start at the beginning and work your way through. No, I'm just kidding. Um, just catch up where you're at and, you know, watch from here on out. It's probably the best way to go. Um, I am by no means a rules expert. I'm kind of learning as I go along, so I miss things. So I appreciate the folks out there that are watching and commenting on better ways to play things and any rules things that I miss. So um, be sure to double check. Uh, usually I'll include my rules goofs in the description and the comments. Well, people are usually pretty good about letting me know where I missed something. So with that said, we've got, I think it's one win and one loss against Dr. Octopus. Now the first loss, I believe, was a pretty quick one. I got beat up pretty fast. The second one was a really good game. Um, I think it's time that we step up to Expert Doc Ock. So we've got Dr. Octopus out of there. We've got the standard deck. Let's see here. So let's double check here. We have Doc Ock 2 and 3. We've got our standard and expert mode encounter sets in there. We've got Octopiper in there. We've got our mechanical assault environment in play. We don't have our mechanical assault environment in play. Where did it go? We have mechanical arms. Oh, we lost our mechanical assault environment. Let's see if I can find it real fast. I'm not sure where it went to. Uh, there it is. All right, let's get that puppy out there. Somehow it got back in the deck. And you can see I've got, um, there's some of my expert cards in there. So let's give this a quick shuffle. And so we can see how badly expert mode goes, because usually I don't very do very good against expert mode. But we'll see. This Iron Man Tech Nova deck has proven to be pretty good deck. I'm pretty happy with that. There's there's tweaks out there you can do to it um, to make it better, but playing it right off of uh, Marvel CDB has been pretty good. All right, so we got Elaborate out there. Um, it says I'm going to put a mechanical arm minion into play engaged with me. So I have an arm coming to get me right away. Um, then I'm going to advance to stage 1B. And 1B, when revealed, deal a face down encounter card to each player. So I'm going to get a face down encounter card. Now, Doc Ock out here has a when revealed also. It says, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the adamantium coding attachment and put it into play. All right, so I'm going to have to go look for another thing, which is the adamantium coating attachment. What should be the face down card that's out there? Would that not be? Okay, there it is. All right, so let's see what Admantium Coating does. I believe that gives them tough. So it's gonna go to our Mechanical Assault. So when Minion comes into play, it becomes tough. All right. Uh, and then when I attack, I can spend two physical resources to make it go away, make the tough or make the Admantium plating go away. All right, so let's throw that. We'll move our lab raid over a little bit and we'll put our mechanical arm buffs over there. Actually, let's do this. Let's move Doc Ock over and we'll put our mechanical arm buffs by our spare mechanical arms that are hanging out on the side now. Okay, how are we looking there? Looking pretty good. All right. Oh, so when this comes into play, it should get tough. So let's put our tough on there. All right. Um, let's start off a Tony Stark turn. So I've got my base Tony Stark hit points, which is nine over on that side. 
I start off with six cards. So let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. We've got Barrier Repulsive. Oh, we got our Arc Reactor. So of all the armor to get, that's the one that makes me the most happy. Unfortunately, we got zero other armor. Uh, so there is a Repulsor Blast in there. I think I'm going to hold on to the Repulsor Blast because... No, I'm not going to hold on to the Repulsor Blast. I'm going to hold on to the Energy Barrier. And we're going to try to dig for more armor. So there was the Helicarrier in there, but I think I want more armor. One, two, three, four. All right, so what do we have here? We've got, oh, we got our double resources. That'll help us get our armor and stuff out. So that's okay. All right, so next up, we're going to use Tony Stark's Futurist. And his Futurist ability says, look at the top three cards of your deck, add one to your hand, and discard the others. And I can do that once per round. So let's grab three cards. One, two, three. We're going to take a look, and we have a Supersonic Punch, Enhanced Awareness, and a Med Team. I think we'll take the Enhanced Awareness. All right. So for Tony Stark's turn, are we? so the question is, are we planning on going Iron Man? I do not think we are planning on going Iron Man this round. I think we will stay Tony Stark. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to use our strength to get our arc reactor out there. We're going to use genius to get an energy barrier out there. And the reason I want to stay Tony Stark is mainly I am going to have a pitiful amount of tech to start off this game. I've got two, so that would mean if I went over Tony Stark, I'd only get three cards. And I think I want to have more than three cards. The right, last thing we're going to do is we're going to get this Enhanced Awareness out there, which is going to give us some extra manas, but they're only hero resources. Need to remember that they're only hero resources. And I am done for now. All right. Um, we're going to draw six cards because I managed to use them all. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we've got. We've got, ooh, armor, gauntlets, armor, armor. Ooh, endurance and downtime. All sorts of goodies in that hand. Okay, so let's go over to Doc Ock and see how Doc Ock's turn is going to work. So first off, we're going to put a threat on the main scheme. Lab is going to go up by one. That was easy. All right, we're done. Oh, we got more Doc Ock stuff to do. All right, so Doc Ock is going to see Tony Stark out here, so he's going to scheme. Now he's got a base scheme of two, which is kind of painful. So let's see what happens there. He's going to get a bonus of two. So he's going to scheme for four. We're not out yet, but we're really close. So he took it up to five. That's going to make, if this doesn't pop, that makes me want to go Iron Man next round because I need to reduce that down. All right. Um, let's see here. Other things we need to worry about on Doc Ock. Uh, that's it. There's a Winnie Wood attack. And then we go over to the mechanical arm, and the mechanical arm says mechanical arm does not activate during the villain phase. So because I schemed, well, he doesn't do anything. Doc Ock, instead of attacking, will make the mechanical arm attack. Because we're scheming, the mechanical arm does zilch. We're going to go over to our encounters. So we need another encounter card. All right. So let's see what we get for our first encounter card. We get multitasking. Oh, I don't like that one. So multitasking is... Uh, forced response after the minion attacks, place one threat on the main scheme. All right. Uh, actually, we're going to switch these around a little bit. Let's put our mechanical assault over here because I think I mixed them up. Put our arm over there, and then he's got multitasking. So essentially what multitasking is, when a minion attacks, he gets threat. Um, so that's bad for me because he tends to get a lot of minions. All right, next up is, oh, damn it. Those always come out at the wrong time. All right, so he's going to scheme. He's going to scheme for two. He's going to get a bonus of a boost. Dr. Octopus heals two damage. Okay, that doesn't matter. I'm all right with that. All right, so he's going to scheme for two. That's going to make Lab Raid pop. Damn it. Didn't even have a chance to do anything with that. 
All right, out comes the Daring Escape. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a crumbling building. Put it into side scheme, put it into play. So I need the crumbling building. So one of the good things about getting the crumbling building out of there, which is that one right there, is that it's got three boost icons on it. So anytime it comes out is bad. So um, I kind of would actually rather be facing it than having it pop out and him do three extra damage to me. So, all right. So and the thing that it does that's really annoying is at the end of my player phase, take extra damage. So, all right, let's get that puppy into play. That's gonna get three threat is what it starts with. So we're gonna add three. So that means probably as Iron Man, I'm going to need to do a thing anyway. All right. And then we get into our daring escape and with distract, without distractions, Doc Ock can focus entirely on dispatching whoever stands in the way of his escape. So mechanical Armenians get plus one attack and that's going to start with one threat. All right. So that's going to get a threat. Okay, that was kind of a power round for Doc Ock on the first round, and we're over to our hero phase. So what are we looking at for our hero phase? I do think we want to get more armor out there. More armor. Um, so we're going to go... So how are we going to pay for our armor is going to be one of the questions. So I think we want our rocket boots. Let's put our rocket boots on. All right, mechanical arms got tough, which I do not like tough. Ooh, before I get, uh, what I should have done is let's use our futurist first. That was a bad call. I should have done futurist before I started playing things. Ooh, ooh. Oh, man. So what do I keep out of that? That's three great cards. I could keep the repulsor blast. I think I'm going to keep the repulsor blast. I do really like Pepper Pots and Nova, but that's gonna, I, I will not have enough energy to play them this round. All right, so we're gonna do our helmet. Let's put our helmet on. We'll use our supersonic punch to put our helmet on. Uh, let's go over to Iron Man. Uh, we're gonna use our Enhanced Awareness, one of them, to play Endurance, I think. All right, so let's do a hit point check. I should have get one more from, that should take me up to 10. Endurance is going to add three, so I should be up to 13. So we're going to go up to 10, 13. All right, it's a little bit tougher. All right, so things we want to do is we want to use our helmet take one off of there we want to de-threat the crumbling building so it's gone we're going to use our armor to untap Iron Man Iron Man ooh do I want if I take out the mechanical arm so the interesting thing is I could take out the mechanical arm but if I do that that really doesn't help me take out Doc Ock. So I could beat it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. So let's, as Iron Man, when you would thwart, discard a card from your hand, discard this card instead. So we're going to use Iron Man to thwart. I think we're going to discard the Repulsor Blast and get rid of the multitasking. All right, so we're going to hold on to our powered gauntlets. We're going to be done. We're going to do some untapping here. And let's figure out what we have for stuff. So we've got one. Oh, that doesn't count. We have one, two, three, four, five cards for our hand size. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next up, we're going to go over the villain's turn. This hasn't been going great for us, so this is going to go up to two. That's not horrible. Second thing that happens is Doc Ock is going to see Iron Man out there. When Doc Ock sees Iron Man, Mechanical Arm is going to attack. 
and the mechanical arm is going to get a boost card. So the mechanical arm's attack value is equal to our villain's stage number, so he's attacking for two. He also gets a plus one because we're on during escape, so he's attacking for three, and he's going to get a boost card. Uh, so then the question ends up being, do I want to defend against that? No, we'll just take the three and the boost card. The boost card is going to do one, so we're going to take four. We will take that four, actually. We're going to redirect one of those, so we will take three. We'll redirect one back to get rid of the tough. Okay, but we are going to take three damage. So three. All right, so that was attack. Now we need an encounter card. So encounter card is dun, 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 an Octobot, which is different than an Autobot. So Octobots uh, cannot be attacked as long as there are other minions not named Octobot engaged with me. So I can't attack him until I take out the mechanical arm. All right. Now the nice thing is, I believe the energy barrier stuff um, isn't considered an attack. It's just a deal of damage to an enemy. So I can redirect that over, but it does too. And that's where it would be nice to have Nova out here at this point, but I don't, I digress. Okay, so that is the end of Dr. Octopus's turn. We're gonna go over to Iron Man. So what do we got going on here? We got some boots, we got a preemptive strike that really doesn't do us any good at this point in time. We got our gauntlets. I think we want to, so we can get our gauntlets and our boots out, which will give us stuff. They'll give us toys. Um, yeah, let's put, let's get our toys into play. So, because Iron Man is actually all about the toys, right? So we're gonna do two for our powered gauntlets. We're gonna do one for our boots. And I could go aerial, which would allow me to do two with my gauntlets. Um, we got my helmet can thwart for one. If I do a bunch, so the, the deal is if I do a bunch of attacking, what I really don't get out of the deal is, um, I don't get to attack Dr. Octopus really because I don't have anything big to follow up with, right? So I think what we will do is we will... De-threat the main scheme for two. We'll thwart for two. All right, we will untap Iron Man. Iron Man's gonna attack the mechanical arm for one, because boy, he's a big baddie. Um, we'll use our gauntlets to hit the mechanical arm for one. Then we're gonna stop there, because we're gonna wanna put it right on the edge. We're gonna kind of beat up the mechanical arm, but not take it out. That's our plan. And we're gonna untap be done all right uh we need how many cards we need one two three four five six seven hey there we go that's iron man's max hand size so feeling good about that one two three four five six seven and i happened to grab just seven out of there we got some damage uh we have stark tower which is also a nice card to get out there I'm kind of hesitant to go Iron Man at this point because we're on our last scheme, but it's we're, it's empty, so we'll see how this ends up here. All right, uh, so we're over to Doc Ock's turn. First one, first thing, one third on the main scheme. Second thing is Doc Ock's going to see Iron Man out there, so the mechanical arm is going to attack. It's going to get a bonus of... Ooh, yuck. Uh, it's going to get a bonus of, what is that, two? So should I preemptive strike that? That is the question right now. Uh, what would I preemptive strike it with? Maybe a Luke Cage? If I do that, so when do the arms come back out? So when Doc Octopus would attack hero, all mechanical arm minions get the hero attack them instead. So right now I'm taking two, three, four, five. 
I think we want to use a preemptive strike to cut down on the damage that we're going to take. Let's use Luke Cage to do that. All right. So we're going to do two damage with the preemptive strike, which says when a boost card is turned face up while a villain attacks, cancel all boost icons on that card, then deal one damage to the villain for each boost icon canceled this way. So it's one damage to the villain. So it has to go to the villain, I'm assuming at that point. Um, so that means that that's done. I've got two, three still coming through from the mechanical arm. I can energy barrier one of them. And I take two. So I'm going to take two. The mechanical arm is going to take one. So it's going to go away. All right. Now we're over to the Octobot. The Octobot's going to attack. Um, so after, and it's got an effect that says, after Octobot attacks, discard Octobot, stun your hero. So it's going to attack me for one. And then I'm going to be stunned. Okay. So that looks like it for the attacky stuff. Now we need an encounter card. Let's see what happens for our encounter card. Counter card is, oh, a treachery. Advance. I see Red Skull out there. Red Skull's gonna drive me crazy after playing this game. Every time I see him, I'm gonna be like, no! Okay, um, so he's gonna scheme for two. He's gonna get a bonus of none. Okay, I like a none bonus, so he's gonna scheme for two. All right, that's not too horrible. It is annoying that I'm going into this turn stunned, but we will make do. All right, so Dr. Octopus went. Um, let's see, let's make sure when the villain phase begins, put an arm minion into play if there isn't one. Okay, so we're okay there. This says when Dr. Octopus would attack hero, blah, blah, blah. Um, if no attacks are initiated, put a mechanical arm into play. All right, so they put them at the beginning of his turn. There's no end of turn arms coming out to get me. So we're good. All right, so we're over to the hero side. What are we going to do on the hero side? We got this repulsor blast out there, which just looks very, very tempting. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our stun off of Iron Man. All right, second thing is we will use our chest thing to untap Iron Man. Now, do we go ahead and hit him with the repulsor blast and see what it does? I think that would be the most fun because <laughs> if I do that, then I'm only going to be able to play Powered Gauntlets or Stark Tower. Or, yeah, see, I, I kind of want to keep the hold of the armor. Then I would be able to play, I would have to choose which one I want to play. I think it's going to end up being the armor. Um, Okay, so we're gonna do our repulsor blast first. Let's let's get that and see what kind of damage we do with our repulsor blast. So we're gonna get five cards. So there's one off the top, then two, one, two, three, ooh, ooh, wow, okay. So we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're gonna knock him down to one. So he's at one hit point. Well, you know what we got to do then. Blip. All right. <laughs> so we're going to knock Doc Ock over to Doc Ock 3 and see what kind of craziness happens here. All right. So we have Doc Ock 3 is coming into play. When revealed, search the encounter deck and discard pal for the surprise attack side scheme and put it into play. Oh, okay. I don't like the sound of that. Surprise attack sounds bad. Let's see what surprise attack does. There we go. There's our surprise attack. So it says um, mechanical arm minions in play and set aside gain the quick strike keyword. Okay, so that means that they will attack as soon as they come into play if my hero is in play. All right, and that's going to get two threat on it. 
All right, I think this is a thing that I do not like. All right, and he's got the same thing that if he attacks and there's no mechanical arm minion, then um, mechanical arm minion comes into play. All right, so, so what do I got here? Um, I am not aerial. I could go aerial. What would that buy me? That would buy me, I would take one off of each scheme, but that wouldn't get rid of, e that would, I could potentially knock during escape down, but it wouldn't take it out. So I don't know that aerial is the right thing to do. I think getting my armor out is going to be the right thing to do. So let's do one, two, we're gonna use enhanced awareness to get three. It's going to put our armor out, which is worth six. So we're going to go up six more hit points. We're going to go up to, are we at 19 or should we be at 20? I think we put out another boots. So we should be at 9, 10, 11. And we should be at 20. I'm going to go up to 20. We weren't getting close anyway, so it's not all that big of a deal. But it's good to keep that in line. I tend not to catch all of those as they come right out. So there we go. We're at max 20. Um... We are going to take one threat off of the Daring Escape. We're going to thwart for two and get rid of this surprise attack because I do not want Quick Strike on the little uh, mechanical arms because they're pretty gross the way they are. All right, so we are going to be done. Going to untap, untap, untap. Untap there, untap there, and we're gonna get how many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the max. One, two, he gets a card. Then we're gonna shuffle. And while I'm shuffling, let's look at his hit points. He should have 17 hit points. So we need a big old 10 out there. Let's give him a five. And a two. So he's got 17 hit points. All right. And I got two of my seven cards. Um, right now, I'm feeling pretty good because I think I can take some damage. But if a couple of arms come out there, it's going to be really tough to get past him and his arms in order to, to take him out. So look at his hit points. He doesn't have a lot of hit points. But you have to get past those stupid arms first, and now they've got tough on them. Um, maybe that's one of the things that I could concentrate on getting rid of that amantium coating, because that is fairly annoying. All right, and the arms are going to be attacking for four by default now. Okay, let's get our card. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see what we come up with here. We have. Uh, War Machine, Enhanced Reflexes, Helicarrier, Med Team, Pepper Pots, Energy Barrier, and Repulsor Blast. So not lots of damage. We got a lot of our helping things there. Okay, we're going to go over to the villain's turn. So the first thing is we're going to put one threat on the main scheme. So it's going to go up to three. All right, I think we saw both advances though, so maybe that's good. All right, so the thing that we need to look at is right now... Um, when the villain phase begins, put a mechanical min put a mechanical arm minion into play, engaged with the player, not yet engaged by a mechanical arm minion. So mechanical arm minion is going to come into play because of the coding. That's going to get tough. Luckily, it also doesn't get quick strike, which I'm very happy about. Um, all right. So then we go over to Doc Ock. He's going to see Iron Man out here and want to attack Iron Man. Iron Man's got, he's almost got like it's, he's all armored up, so he's going to take it. Uh, I don't have any of my preemptive strikes, so we're just taking it, taking it, all right? So we're attacking the mechanical arm, tax for three, plus one is four, and we're going to flip our boost card. So we're doing four, five. All right, so I'm getting hit for five. Ouch. All right. Um, so we have taken, we go from 6 to 11. That's a pretty good hit. All right, I've got an encounter card. We're going to get another encounter card. 
Well, let's see what happens. So, encounter card number one. Oops, I could have reflected that. That's okay, we'll hold off on that. All right, Ugh. multitasking. All right, so that's the one where um, after minion attacks, place a threat on the main scheme. All right, so his multitasking is back. Number two, we've got, sh oh, ooh, Shadows of the Past, Whiplash is coming out. All right, so Whiplash is going to come into play. This is probably a bad time for Whiplash to come into play. And to have a side scheme, additional side scheme out there. All right, Whiplash has not got a lot of health. He's got four. And he's got Retaliate 1, so there's uh, a decent amount of annoying happening there. All right, so what are we going to do here? we got Mechanical Arm, we got Whiplash. Iron Man was getting set up to do some stuff, but uh, there's a lot that went wrong in that round. The multitasking is going to be a problem because that makes the arms generate threats. The repulsor blast would be nice to get out there. Could use war machine to help uh, stop some of the damage. Uh, aerial would be good this round. So if I go aerial, I can de-threat both of the things that are out there. The downside is that if I go aerial, I can't get rid of the, I can only get rid of one of the two if I want to get rid of multitasking, and I do want to get rid of multitasking. Mm. Wow, these are kind of tough choices here. So what are we going to go after here? Let's, so I think the, oh, I have to discard a card in order to get rid of multitasking. I forgot about that part also. All right, so we're going to thwart and we'll get rid of our helicarrier and we'll make multitasking go away. All right, we will untap Iron Man. Um, let's use our enhanced awareness to go aerial. So we're up in the air. Now that we're up in the air, we will use our helmet, which I frequently forget. When you're in helmet, you take one off of every scheme that's out there. So there we go. All right. So now we've got one thwart left that we can do. So we can take out the imminent overload Boy, look at that. If we go over to Tony Stark, we're looking at three, four, five. There would be six scheme is generated. Ow, that is super painful. Um, we're going to get two on there automatically. So I'm trying to look at what our options are here. We can... We're aerial right now. I can, can we get War Machine out there? So if I get War Machine out, he's gonna cost me about everything to get out at this point in time. But he's a decent blocker and he's got a lot of attack. So I could get, if I get War Machine out, what I can do with War Machine is I can Hit Whiplash for two and then gauntlet him out of there. Because I'm flying, so I do two. I think we'll do that. Then what do I, what card am I going to want to hold on to? Am I going to want to hold on to my damage, my energy barrier, or my pepper pots? Those are all great cards to hold on to. Med team, I've been taking some damage too. The med team would not be a bad card to hold on to. And I think we will, we're going to hold on to their Pulsar Blast. So we're hoping that we can get through this mechanical arm here coming up in the next round. So we're going to bring out War Machine. That's our four to bring out War Machine. War Machine will attack and hit Whiplash for two. 
Oh, we've got retaliate. We're going to take another one. Uh, we're going to gauntlet him. So we're going to take one. Annoying. And then whiplash is out of there. Okay. Um, next up, let's get rid of our imminent overload. So we'll thwart for two and get imminent overload out of there. I'm trying to decide if that's the best tactic at this point. The other option would be I could hit the mechanical arm for one and take the tough off of it. So hopefully set it up for next round, taking it out. Is that the better idea? We leave ourselves set up for potential problems with the daring escape. And I think we'll go this route. We'll, we'll see how this goes. Okay. Um, there's nothing else I can do here, so we're going to untap lots of things. And I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to draw seven. So we're going to get seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Got lots of energy, but not lots of damage. Uh, we may be doing a lot of med team. Maybe time to heal next turn. After this attack, I'm thinking that could be very likely. All right. So Daring Escape is going to come out. We're going to get one from the Daring Escape for our standard. Add one threat to the main scheme. Doc Ock is going to see Iron Man out there. He's going to come to attack Iron Man. So we're looking at a mechanical arm that does three, four, plus a boost card. So that's 16 plus a boost card. Do I put War Machine in front of that? I think so. War Machine is going to block that. Um, so we are taking... Well, War Machine is going to take... Uh, oh, Doc Ock is going to heal too. He's at 17, so he doesn't actually heal too. So that means that War Machine is going to take all the damage and War Machine's out. All right. Not a huge loss. Would have been nice to have him around. All right, so next up we need an encounter card. See what our encounter card does to us. Ooh, overwhelming ire. What's this? When revealed, place one threat here per mechanical arm in play. So it's going to get four. All right. And that doubles our encounter cards. Well, not doubles. It's going to add another one. Okay. So that's it for the villain. We're back to the hero. So there's lots of fun things we can do here. Um, a lot of it is related to potentially healing. Uh, we have a, there's enough for one med team. There's enough for another med team. Do I put, I don't know that Stark Tower does me a whole lot of good at this point because I have most of my suit. It would help me get energy barriers back. But I'm not all that concerned about that at this point in the game, I feel like. I feel like I should spend like this and get two med teams out there and hold on to my repulsor blast. All right, I think that's what we're going to do here. So what we're going to do is we are going to get a med team with three counters. One, three. We get a med team with three counters. Uh, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. We'll move these. Can I still see these over here way on the side? Yep. Okay. Put another med team out there with three counters on it. One. Three. We're still holding on to our repulsor blast. All right, so we are going to use our helmet. We'll use our helmet to take one off of the daring escape. We will thwart for two on the overwhelming ire. We will untap. We will thwart for two on the Overwhelming Ire and get rid of Overwhelming Ire. We will use our gauntlets to zap the tough off of the mechanical arm. 
We're going to use two med teams to do a total of four healing to Iron Man. So he's going to be at eight damage total. All right, we will be done. Two, three, lots of untap. And we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we still get up to seven cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Villain's turn. So first off, I'm going to put a threat on the main scheme. There's our one threat. Second thing that's going to happen is Doc Ock's got a mechanical arm. He's going to hit me with his mechanical arm. Um, and we're going to, Iron Man's going to take this hit. Yes. So we're taking three plus one is four plus our boost card, which says another one. So we're going to take five damage. So let's just throw another five on there. Do I have another five? I don't have, oh, there's another five. All right. Actually, let's just flip this. There we go. We're at 13. All right, we're going to draw an encounter card. Encounter card says... Oh, it's the annoying Octobot comes into play. Okay. So we're done with the villain's turn. We're over to the hero's turn. All right, so what are we doing on the hero's turn? Now we've got a supersonic punch and two blasts. So do we lay it all on the line that we can take Doc Ock out. I think we do. I think that's the gamble we make here is that we take Doc Ock out with our damage, which is a lot this turn. So we're looking at eight. But we got to get past the mechanical arm first, right? Okay, so how we get past the mechanical arm is a gauntlet shot. Iron Man attacks it, we use our arc reactor, we untap, we attack it again. So that's three damage to take out the mechanical arm. All right, now we are going to use our mental here to go aerial. We will supersonic punch Doc Ock for eight. So that's going to not take this out. And we're going to knock him down to nine. All right. Here comes the crazy stuff. We're going to Repulsor Blast. So there's one. Let's see what kind of bonuses we get. We get one, two, three, four, five cards. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're going to do eleven. It only takes nine to take him out. All right. We got the win. Expert mode. Doc Ock win. Worked out pretty well. Um, I was I was questioning it there for a little bit, uh, and there was a couple of times there where he got kind of schemy. It's kind of interesting because he really forced me to stay Iron Man. I really couldn't. There were periods of time there where I couldn't go Tony Stark because the the threat of him scheming out was very real. So um, that looks like it for this play. Not exactly sure where I'm going to go next. Um, don't know if I maybe I might get another custom villain or I go after a custom hero not exactly sure which way but there we've got a win against expert Doc Ock so I'd be interested um, I'm not sure which one if Blizzard or Doc Ock is tougher I think Doc Ock is tougher I'm not sure that I would put him at Ultron maybe between Claw and Ultron and the Lizard I want to put just below claw level, maybe. I kind of have to test him with some other heroes to see what I think. But I think Doc Ock is tougher than claw. Um, those Masters of Evil minions, though, are, are pretty bad. So, um, I don't know. That's, uh, I'd be interested to see what they were thought of. I need to go do some reading and see, because I, I believe they've said... They think they're comparable to this type of villain or they the creators have put them on a level of another villain out there and see what it is that they say they think they should be at so anyway that's it for this round let me know if i missed any rules goofs there or uh, didn't play something right or you would have played something different i won so i'm pretty happy with how i played there <laughs> at least i think so uh that's it for now thanks for watching